Hello and welcome to The Spirit Spa, um, an online sanctuary for helping to support you in the aftermath of um, a breakdown, um, supporting you and guiding you to a place where you um, can find confidence and trust to believe that your life can become uh, joyful and manageable again. I'm Karen Packwood, The Love Millionaire. Um, I'm an author, a spiritual guide and a healer and I'm delighted to welcome you today to the Spirit Spa which today is uh, taking place in um, a beautiful forest in the um, heart of um, rural England and you can see um, that I'm at the foot of the most magical tree so I'm just going to show you this tree that I'm sitting at the base of this morning it's absolutely uh, stunning um, so I just wanted to share that with you so today we're going to focus on the question, how do you cope in the immediate aftermath of a breakdown? Well, of course, there are many, many ways in which you can do this. I'm going to concentrate on just one today and I'll be sharing um, other, in, uh, other advice and guidance um, in other videos. But today I'm going to talk about the importance of slowness. It's incredibly tempting to think that we have to put ourselves back together again very quickly and the reality is is that we can't okay a, a, a genuine breakdown that has really taken us to a place where we cannot function normally in everyday life and is absolutely kind of drowning us in depression and anxiety and despair um, cannot be rushed we have been taken to a very fragile place in our lives and in order to put ourselves back together again, we need to be very slow and very gentle. So the reason I've brought us out into nature today is because for me, it was nature that really helped me to, um, I don't know, just come to this very slow place. Of course, you know, nature goes through the four seasons and um, it just helped to, to bring me to a much more grounded, a much slower pace of life. Now, I wasn't able to go out into the countryside straight away. I actually was in bed for six months, uh, pretty much completely comatized before I was well enough to even think about um, going for a walk again. And when I did, um, you know, I was only able to walk for, you know, just five or ten minutes at a time, um, which was very, very shocking for me. Um, because I had been a dancer and a long distance walker and somebody that was always into mountains and things. So suddenly to be able to only walk for a few minutes was terrifying. I just was so frightened that I would never be able to walk again. Um, so slowness and gentleness. Now in this slowness and gentleness, a question came to me. And this is the question that I would like to share with you today because it really, really helped me. And the question is this, if I was to love myself today, what would I do? If I was to love myself today, what would I do? Now in those very, very dark, frightening early days, literally the answer would sometimes be, well, I'm just going to stay in bed or I'm going to just sit and you know stare in space okay I'm just gonna sit quietly in this chair sometimes it might be I'll have a wash I'll get dressed I'll try and go downstairs you know I'm talking extremely basic stuff when I had my breakdown I was frightened to breathe I I honestly was terrified that if I you know, my next breath would be the breath that would shatter me into oblivion. Um, you know, I was, I, it, it, it was that terrifying. So just these ordinary everyday day tasks can feel so enormous um, in those early days. But the trick is not to try and force yourself to do anything to start with. It's literally to try and listen to your inner guidance. What is your inner guidance? guiding you towards and that's that was how I really began my journey to recovery I just thought right I've got to really listen to myself here you know my I'm so fragile my mind is fragile my body is fragile you know everything is fragile I, I've got to just listen and go slowly 
bit by bit. And then, of course, I gradually found that more, you know, things, new things came in, bigger things, better things, until eventually I was able to to function again. Um, But I don't want to, I'm not going to jump ahead to that. I'm going to share that information in other videos. But so just today, I just want you to really concentrate and just ask yourself, if I was to love myself today, what would I do? And why not keep a journal of it? You know, make a little journal to chart your progress because there will be progress and you'll be very surprised by the progress that you make you know on a week by week basis and you'll develop confidence as you see you've actually been able to do those things that your inner guidance has given you the uh, you know the the the, the support um, in terms of taking you forward and um, you will begin to see progress and from that progress that you will gain um, confidence so please be very gentle with yourself. Take time to be slow. Give yourself permission to be slow. And ask yourself the question, if I was to love myself today, what would I do? And then honour it. So I'm Karen Packwood, The Love Millionaire. You can find more advice and guidance on how to uh, survive the um, aftermath, the the immediate aftermath of a breakdown on my website, www.karenpackwood.com. If you have a specific question that you would like to ask me that I can then answer in one of these video blogs, please email me at karenpackwood at gmail.com. And I will be very, very happy to answer any questions Uh, that you have around um, any support that you would like um, in terms of helping you overcome any difficulties that you're having with your breakdown recovery. But please know that it is possible. Um, Please believe me when I say that if you follow the journey of your breakdown, if you work with your breakdown, um, your breakdown will lead you to a really beautiful place in your life. Um, a new place, a place where you will be happier and more fulfilled and more in connection with your absolute true self than you ever thought possible. So it's been lovely speaking to you today. I'm wishing you a very peaceful day. I look forward to hearing from you. Please um, feel free to subscribe to my channel and um, I look forward to speaking to you um, in one of my other videos. Okay, take care then. Lots of love. Bye.